all the anatomy that we are dealing with in a laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair is the preperitoneal space. This is nothing but a potential space between the rectus abdominis muscle and fascia transversalis anteriorly and the peritoneum posteriorly. So if this is a cut section of the abdomen, if you can see, have the midline over here, that is the urinary bladder, right? Anterior to it will be the preperitoneal space, right? And it is bounded by the rectus abdominis as well as the transversalis fascia anteriorly, right? So if you are going to be doing a preperitoneal dissection, what is classically done is when you approach it below the arcuate line, you find that this structures are the fascia transversalis and the erectus abdominis and this would be the peritoneum, right? So this is the pubic bone that you will be seeing. So this is the preperitoneal space, it's a potential space that can be created. So the natural approaches that have been performed for the approach for the preperitoneal space has been the classical transabdominal preperitoneal, which is commonly known as the TAPP, which is discussed as a separate topic in this series. The other approach is the total extraperitoneal approach, which now is also having a variation to it when you go higher than the arcuate line and it's called an enhanced or an extended uh, trans -extra total extraperitoneal approach. So when you do a transabdominal preperitoneal approach, this is the view that you will get when you go into the abdomen. You will find that the urinary bladder is right over there. You have the median umbilical ligament, right? And then you have the two medial umbilical ligaments and then you have the lateral umbilical ligament which will naturally have the inferior epigastric. Notice that there is a huge structure over here. We will come to that a little later. So this is a little more zoomed up photo of the same pelvic anatomy but on the right side per se. Okay, so as you can see this patient has a small indirect inguinal hernia. That's the deep ring that the hernia is going through. You are finding the vas deference coming from medial moving towards the inguinal ring. You have the conoidal vessels coming from the lateral aspect going towards the inguinal ring. Above the deep inguinal ring you will find the inferior epigastric vessels. So this is the potential area that we are going to be tackling when we are dealing with the anatomy of the preperitoneal space. So I am going to be looking at from a total extraperitoneal repair kind of approach. So these are the things that you will be needing to look at. The pubic bone, the corpus ligament, the Hasselbach's triangle, the inferior epigastric artery, the cord structures and the infrolateral space and the iliopubic tract. So if you look at the pubic bone, right, so when we are in the total extraperitoneal space, this will be the pubic bone that you are seeing with the pubic symphysis bang in the middle. And when you approach this, whether you are doing the total extraperitoneal or the transabdominal preperitoneal, you will find that light bounces off from the pubic bone back to you. And this is known as the lighthouse sign, right? So it's a classic uh, way of looking at it. You know 100% that's going to be the bone. It's not going to be any other structure. What you are seeing over here will be the rectus abdominis. All this will be avascular preperitoneal fibers which can be easily dissected. What you will find below this will be the bladder. So the next we move on to the Cooper's ligament which is naturally named after Sir Astley Cooper in the same year that he spoke that wonderful aphorism of his in 1804. It's also known as the pectineal ligament and basically what it is, is an extension of the lacular ligament running on the pectineal line of the pubic bone. So this is the uh, pubic bone you have and then you have the uh, pectineal line. So this is where you will find the pectineal ligament, right? And it forms, do not forget this, is a very important point, posterior border of the femoral ring.
So this is again the pubic bone that you see, the lateral most aspect of which will be the pectineal ligament. Okay.